Dear Diary, glorious freedom for the first time in my life. Dear Diary, my soul plums new depths of despair. Wake up, Todd. Wake up. When he is near, my heart races so rapidly I fear I will faint. Could it be that I have finally found the person I can't live without? <laughs> Maybe he'll even reward you with a big, fat kiss. I'm going to punch her in the face. Don't let her get to you. Let me handle this. I thought customers weren't allowed back here. Well, they're not. She's one of us. Bet, Dot, meet Esmeralda, our new spiritualist. Come by my tent anytime. I'll give you a free reading. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the only thing you give away for free. Conjoined twins? So, Miss Riviere, I see you're here today to write a report about the science of conjoined twins. Yes. First and foremost, could you explain the process of polycephaly and how conjoined twins occur? Ah, yes. Well, let me start by saying that it's an extremely rare phenomenon. It only occurs about every 200,000 births. What happens is that they develop from the same fertilized egg and share the same amniotic cavity and placenta. The developing embryo starts to split into identical twins during the first weeks after conception, but stops before the process is complete. The partially separated egg develops into a conjoined fetus. And typically, what are the survival rates of these twins? Approximately 40 to 60 percent of conjoined twins are stillborn, and about 35 percent survive only a day. The overall survival rate is about 5 to 25 percent, unfortunately. And what about surgical separations? Are they only advised under certain, under certain circumstances? You bring up the most formidable procedure in this process. If you can solve this, they'll probably want you to run for president. Surgical separation is risky and delicate. It requires extreme precision and care. The most feasible case would be that of twins conjoined at the base of the spine. They have a 68 percent chance of uh, survival. In cases of those with conjoined hearts at the ventricular level, there are no known survivors. You can meet two of my patients, Alex and Tina, right there. So what do you guys do every day? Wake up! I gotta study! You don't even have a passing grade in the class. Shut up. Doesn't matter to try, right? <sighs> Tina! I gotta study! Tina! Stop! Stop! I like that song! I like that song! Oh my god! I'm taking your earbuds! I'm taking your earbuds! Mom bought it for me. What's too bad that your earbuds are for me? Well, you're not gonna listen to anything. <gasps> I listen to my own voice. <gasps> Thank you.